Is there a correlation between exercise, protein supplements like whey protein and hair loss? So this is a very important topic I want you to talk about. Yes, so um, there have been so many publications and researches all over the world regarding right. this yeah. because it's a topic, it's a, something which is so much talked about. People have different notions in their mind. So uh, if somebody is already losing hair, they are already DHT, uh, the levels of DHT are high, they are genetically susceptible for hair loss right. and they are doing intense exercise. So first of all, uh, it is now known that during the bouts of exercise, if you are doing intense exercise, your testosterone spikes up. Testosterone levels go high. Yes. Right. Okay. Then if you are taking whey protein and that too a little bit more towards the more side. Higher so I'll side. tell you how much is high. Okay. So if you are taking a higher amount of uh, whey protein, so the whey proteins, they are rich in branched chain amino acids, BCAA, which are leucine, isoleucine and uh, well in. Okay. So these uh, amino acids, they repair the muscle mass, the damaged muscle very fast. So they also give a boost to testosterone when they, they are acting. So again, the DHT is going to increase. Because the testosterone will convert to 5 DHT. Yes. Yeah. And even if the patient is on finasteride, as we know, finasteride is a DHT blocker given for hair loss. And we also know that finasteride blocks around 70 to 80% of the enzyme and not 100%. Not even deuterosteride does that. Is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not even deuterosteride does that 100%. Right. So these spikes will increase DHT and the patient may have further hair loss. Okay. So there is a direct correlation between excessive whey protein. Yes, and, and hair, loss. hair loss. And in those people who are already genetically susceptible. So somebody who is not experiencing any hair loss, if they are taking uh, the whey protein mm -hmm. in moderate uh, amounts, it they may gaining they may be gaining benefit out of it. They may have good hair and good skin because of the whey protein they are taking. But if they are taking large amounts and they are already susceptible, then they may show a direct connection between the timing of when they start the whey protein and then they start having hair loss. So the takeaway is, if a person has a family history of hair loss they have that baldness gene running in their families and if they are taking whey protein, they are more susceptible, yes. especially if they are taking in the higher quantity. So this is a sort of a take-home message. But if you are not susceptible, whey protein per se on its own cannot cause hair loss for you. So Dr. Preeti, how would you quantify this as a um, small quantity, moderate quantity and large quantity of whey protein? So uh, you see in a normal person who's who is not exercising much, the normal uh, how much they require protein uh, that would be around 0.8 grams per kg weight. So suppose we take uh, X person who is 75 kilograms. So he may be needing 60 grams of protein. Okay. Out of that, if he takes one scoop, which may provide from 25 to 30 grams the of... The standard scoop size. Yeah. Yes, those, that scoop comes with the protein powder dubbed only. Right. So if he takes one scoop, it may give him 25 to 30 grams of uh, protein. Okay. That would suffice and okay. that would give enough branch chain amino acids to... Repair the muscles. Repair, so. yeah. Suppose they are doing a little bit more exercise, they may be requiring 1.5 grams per kg body weight. And if they are doing intense exercise, they may require around 1.8, but always less than 2. 1.8 grams per, per kg, kg body, body weight. Okay. Yes. So this has to be quantified from a person to person. Yes, according and to whey the protein, exercise. Whey protein, like how much is the whey protein, like if they try to supplement the entire protein need, through whey, supply, whey protein only, is it the right way or is it not the right way? Yeah, so actually they can do that. Suppose they are uh, in the, they fall in the category of 0.8 uh, grams per kg body weight and they are, they want to take one scoop per day. It is okay because then there are different things they can consume in order to uh, reach the level of 60 grams per day. Not if a whey protein alone, should it be taken as the only source of protein? No, no, That's no. That is not at all required. But, and besides, if they take that much of whey protein, which actually sometimes people do, you know, they take around 
टेन टाइम्स और एट टाइम्स मोर देन वॉट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट बिकॉज दे फील दैट दिस शुड सफाइस देयर होल प्रोटीन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड इफ दे डू डू दैट देन द द अमीनो एसिड्स इन इट द ब्रांच चेन वंस दे कैन गेट द टेक द टेस्टोस्ट्रॉन स्पाइक एंड देन दे विल हैव हेयर लॉस ऑल्सो सो द क्वान्टिटी हैज़ टू बी रिड्यूस्ड अप टू अ मिनिमम से वन स्कूप अर डे एंड ऑल्सो other proteins can be used along with the food to fulfill the sub, uh, need of the protein supplement yes. is that whey protein should not be the only supplement you should try to no. take a sort of diversified uh, exactly. bowl of proteins yes uh, yes so they can consume legumes lentils soy proteins then uh, from chickpeas also they can consume dairy products yogurt is yogurt and um, cheese so the dairy products also uh, contain all nine essential amino acids okay. so they are also and egg is the standard protein right. egg is the standard protein with which every other protein is uh, you know measured how how is the standard protein okay okay so the need will vary according to the kind of exercise a person is doing yes moderate or a sort of no- normal like i don't do a lot of exercise so i don't need a lot of protein especially this kind and if a person is just keeping himself fit not doing very vigorous this thing his requirement will be on the lower side the protein levels and if a person is doing an excessive gymming body building cardio everything like he is doing his protein requirements are going to vary yes. to so the, to repair the muscle which is being sort of broken down during the exercise as well as to uh, strengthen them also so that yes. so okay that's a, i think it's a very informative kind of thing mm-hmm.